So, yeah. yeah. All right, revealing the map. We're on the point of view from Nikov as Hans. And, oh, you see, my, my guess with Chinese wasn't too bad. Both yeah, went no, Hans, it was Chinese. Yeah, it was spot, not too bad. Both right. uh, both dudes. Of course, Mr. Louis, best of it too, uh, is you and Hassan, but you guys are retired. I, I was talking about, yeah. you know, active players. The Hall of you Fame. You guys are yeah. already legends. I mean, we are not talking about legends. Only like normal players, mortals. Okay. <laughs> and Gronk Yassini introduced the players, introduced the civs. Uh, well, civilization, like like Janet said, because he, he had a point in double Arabia, double the villagers, so it makes sense to see Chinese. Hans and Chinese. Hans still for the power uh, house that, that they are, especially from uh, Castle Age, right? And you get super uh, fast Chinese. to Castle Age. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But again, uh, the map, it's not something, I mean, it's, it's not desert-like to, to, to be start with. It's a green Even though they one, have yeah. some oasis. As mm -hmm. you can see, so uh, like you pointed out, uh, Genetti, for example, one player goes Cavarches, they can find those you know tight spaces with the oasis and so on. Good maps, good maps. What can I say? Now, let's see, Miguel, Miguel, uh, his town center not really close to each other though, and separated by some forests. This can be good, this can be, uh, be bad. Uh, often, uh, I have seen players, for example, walling one of their town centers and taking uh, care more uh, with the other town center. So, let's see how easy to wall is this one. I'm now in Slam's point of view, for example. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. I don't, I don't like too much the, the wood for him. Quite a lot of oasis, especially with that, uh, you know, forward town center, let's call it. Yes, and, uh, and that one closer to Miguel, if you know what I mean. Mm, looking at it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at the wood. Ah, pretty, pretty bad. The other one, though, yeah, it's it's looking a bit better. But even even like that, uh, he has to go quite far from the town center. Yeah, not so great. Not super far away, but yeah, not that great. But if I'm looking now to the other players, uh, more or less the same. Oh, we have the first scout fight on the right hand side. Barry fighting with Nikov. And yeah, Barry is running back. I think he he hit second, probably. So yeah, if, if I'm looking now uh, at all the players, it's not like a huge, huge uh, or, or let's say big forests. None, none of them have like a clear advantage, right? No, I don't see with, anything yeah. really wrong with the map or unfair. Um, no, 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 it's, it's, it's not saying wrong. Yeah. Looking at the wood, well, maybe Nikov with his town center that is closer to Barry, yeah. you see he has a full forest. That is a very good one. Yes. And I've got to say here that I really like the viewer's choice. I think it's a, it's a perfect uh, map choice. Yeah, I mean, Double Arabia, super aggressive. And the next one as well, Mega Random, that they can get some crazy map generation. It's going to be great. It's going to be great for sure. Uh, I misclicked on the chat. There was someone really swearing and then I misclicked and got butter chicken. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> was really no, uh, no intention there. Um, anyway, back to the game. So uh, two scouts from Slam on their way. This is always the best idea because you know two scouts in Dark Age can always pick up a villager, and there's so yeah, many. True. And there's so many villagers from uh, minute one onwards. Whoa, man! So, look at yeah. the wood I was talking about. Look, look at Slam. I mean, he built uh, lumber camps uh, in the same forest, basically from the both town centers. You see? Yeah. Yeah. But he's kind of low in population, don't you think, Slam? 34 while Nikov 37. I mean, three villagers or population, yeah, three village four now. No, three, three, four in that range might not be like too, too much, but still, man, it's three villes. Yeah, no, he had really he had idle the town center. The, what happened? The villager amounts they, they can really fall apart sometimes if you. If you get housed, for example, or if you don't get in enough food, because imagine you need his hands. 
Yeah, people are getting housed. Good point. I was speaking in general, but every 25 uh, seconds you need a hundred food. Every 25 game seconds. Yeah. So yeah, gotta get anyway, that, that food in Miguel first. Anyway, Miguel coming now with yeah. bridges to do a wall, while Barry is dancing with his two scouts. Dude, you can either hit the single scout of Miguel or uh, no, I think he can see. Uh, the wall incoming now from Miguel mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. check out Nikov also uh, walling starting to do the wall well actually he's walling both his town centers bloody hell okay yeah Ooh, long wall coming up from slam so pretty fast feudal age I would say for Barry uh, quite yes. ahead from the other players the other players only now on the way to feudal age and 45 for population for Barry, building the stable already, resources, how they look for Barry, mm, not that great, but it's okay, right? And the same yeah. for Slam, started to do a, a, a going, wall. They're going for a team wall, yeah. Okay, stable coming up already. Feudal age now for Slam. First barracks just there for Miguel. Ooh, scout fight. Yep. Two scouts, two scouts, and now one scout left, but I Miguel is with yeah, he's with one villager there. Yes. So Slam just yeah, ran uh, ran back a little bit. Feudal age now for Nico Miguel. Nico uh, Miguel in, in return a bit later feudal age, but if I'm going to their point of view, especially for Miguel, Miguel missing some food some gold and he will be on the way to castle age it seems that he can be the first to click up yeah oh man so let's check out the matchups here he's different hans versus chinese yeah. hans versus chinese yeah. which it's, is great yeah it's not mirrored so that makes it a little bit more exciting than Oh, uh, scout went oh, down. Oh, almost one will, almost one will for Barry, but he's saving the will inside the TC. Even so, oh, yeah. the two the scouts, scouts for I see Nikov. them now. Yeah, 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 trying to hit a will, will. Barry, run! Oh, he was able to kill one of his two, one of his two scouts, but the will, yeah. no, man. Whoa, uh, good for Barry. Yeah, saved her. And check All out right. both Mickey, Miguel and Nikov on the way to Castle Age, man. Whoa. But is that too okay. early? Is that too early to go to? Because they haven't got the economy to support that castle age. No, no, this in is double what I'm Arabia, about. this is it. In double Arabia, it, it is. It okay, is now, okay. Okay. range coming up. Two ranges from Slam. Most of the time, it is full nights, really full nights. But maybe they're, you know, thinking in a, in combinations again, like the Chinese player going knights and then the Hans player calf archers. Or what do you guys think? Ah, oh, from slam there. Rangers, okay, but well, cost-wise, you know, still Hans or Hans, man, and without the balance patch is even more cost-effective. Let's say mm. Cavarches, good unit, fast, and yeah. so on. This is not on balance patch, by the way, because this is yeah. Re regular. Yeah, like I said, I mean even more. Yeah. Because imbalance patches a, a little bit ah, more. That's, that, that's that's how my you point. meant. It. That's how you meant it. I got it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spearman, how did the spearman get in uh, in the back of uh, Nikov's base? Ah, oh, the villager was walling there. Okay. Yeah, he he didn't uh, completely, uh, you know, walled. Still, uh, still th that side left open for Nikov. Uh, did d does Barry come in with more scouts? Only one scout come. Oh, he might lose a will. Nikov didn't see it. Another scout for Barry, and indeed he will take down one one villager. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. but it, it it is a really close game. I've got to say. Mm, it I is. don't know. I mean, it is. Scores Barry is still the in same. feudal age. Barry is still in feudal age, while the other guys are in castle age, and Barry also didn't walk completely. Look at him with four oh, villagers. At, He's trying to drop uh, the wall, yeah. but it, it won't work out, man. It won't work out. 
and also on the on the side you know in the southern corner a berry is open yeah Com completely open like yes he is more knights oh, incoming from Nikov. Nikov with a chance to kill all these villagers and Barry runs back yeah. home. But at least one more is going down. At least one. So some problems here for Barry, definitely. And yeah, Nikov is saying it back to you. GG. Yeah. Uh, let's go to back to his um, point of view, check the resources. He I am. Has he has over 1,000 yes. men food. So, like, what the hell? Click! He was waiting for the buildings, apparently. Yes. Just finished the uh, blacksmith and uh, there it comes. He didn't even have the barrel cup, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Lost so much time there. But then again, um, it, it must be really late for him. I was surprised to see him uh, sign up. But on the other hand, he plays a lot at, at these hours. So... Who knows? Who knows? Just a mistake. Oh man, Barry in, in big problems. Yeah, he is. Barry in big problems. Even like this, w with the losses he had, look at the kills and death ratio for Barry. Killed 6 and he lost 20. 7 to 20. Now he's... But even like that, 70 population. Oh, now this is interesting here between Miguel and um, Slam. Because Miguel went for camels and slam, yeah, got his kefir archers both. Rather, you know, uncommon if you ask me. And those kefir archers are with bloodlines, but uh, the yeah. thing is that Barry is here with some problems. Anyway, like I said, 16 population, well, he's not super, super behind, but obviously he didn't want to lose all those villagers. And he's sending the villes to, to finish the the wall but without any spear are you for real barry again no I, same thing again killing off the walling villagers there not good at all well finally he's in castle age but uh, now we can say dropping in population 69 that's not too good you know in a double arabia mm. while on the other hand check uh, the, uh, the, yeah check out miguel with the forward siege workshop two mangonels monks camels increasing the pressure we see a defensive siege workshop incoming from slam and um nikov just asked about the population and look at that um 105 already for miguel yep 105 he is, he is ahead by the looks. I mean, Barry is the other Chinese. If you if you look at them, it's 31 population difference between the Chinese players. Yes. That's quite a lot. <laughs> okay, but uh, Barry has quite a lot of spears. I don't see the pikeman upgrade, uh, you know, research for him. Also now coming with a few camels and trying hoping that he can finally completely wall that one in the other side slam coming out with the cav archers while a second monastery for miguel with yeah. sanctity and redemption are you getting dizzy there's so much going on like wherever i click there is like you know skeleton um barry is sniping villagers here and there but i agree he is he is behind overall Okay, mark it now. And both uh, both teams they considered these uh, team walls, right? Gil and Nikov. Uh, but Barry, like you pointed out on, on the right hand side, he's not fully walled. Yeah. I hope I hope he does but... know that, right? Forging now God. for Barry. Okay, it seems that situation stabilized now a little bit more. Now, uh, slam with uh, with that defensive, uh, mm. like I said, siege workshop and the mangonel can uh, fight easier the enemy mangonels. Where are the cav archers though for him? Oh, trying to run away from the camels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Don't forget that camels, they have a bonus, right? They do against mounted units. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh... And Barry. 107 for Fishwise Slam. Now Slam 97 again. 
Yeah. Yeah. Slam seems to be the lowest. Well, why Getting is that? Did RJ he range. drop town centers later than the other players? Apparently. Yeah, quite a few well, look at the villages. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say it. 87 villages. Oh man. 86 for Bear, while the other two players, both of them above 100. 113 yeah. for Miguel and 108 for Nikov. And with, with and Barry, we've seen it that he got up to Castle Age rather late, right? So we can't build extra town centers, but for Slam, it's it's unfortunate. He really wanted to go for these Kef archers, didn't build too much economy apparently. Oh yeah. Okay, Miguel going in though with his group of knights, knights with plus two armor and yeah. bloodlines, but those cavalrys using the heal advantage, mm -hmm. taking care of uh, those knights initially. Those knights, but Slam lost one of his town centers, right? While Barry is now coming over to do some raidings, but where to go? Nikov is by now fully walled. No. Uh, that top side uh, for him is also not fully walled. And Barry is going in. Well, if he finds Miguel, if Miguel doesn't pay it, uh, enough attention, if he's going to Miguel, no, he's going for Nikov by the looks, yeah, hitting the, the palisade. Right, well, Miguel and Nikov at this point with the advantage. Um, Clear even advantage. Had to build, yeah. yeah. Even had to build those defensive towers and one more tower just to protect a little bit more his economy. Barry almost got in, was like last second. And now Nikov moving in with knights and cavalry archers. Uh, will will he take the fight? It's Yeah, the ranged units really help here. Help so much in they situations do, like they this. Do. Yeah. But uh, one important thing, Miguel on the way to Imperial Age. Oh. Yeah, uh, Miguel is playing outstandingly here, uh, really. Nikov's economy, he has over 1.6 thousand food and 800 gold. He will be on the way to Imperial Age, same as Barry, difference only 5 seconds. Yeah. While uh, Slam Slam, well, he's missing food, but Miguel is already in Imperial Well, already in 10 seconds he will be. Okay. Now we have Slam taking down the three man Galena, still one left and building more and more towers. Problems for him. While let's see, Barry preparing a castle on top of that hill. While Nikov some siege workshops not far away from that castle. A from that castle yes. and the cavalrys. Oh my! He can, he can, he can deny that castle. Don't you think? I mean, if he's moving forward and he does. Whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now I and I, I got <laughs> confused. I was looking at the castle at Slam Space. Sorry. Um, if this castle gets denied, then it gets denied, man. It gets denied. I think more and more knights incoming for Nikov. He has the cab arches in the place. Uh, even a ram coming on. Uh, Barry is not. He's not oh, facing this no. one. Yes, unfortunately, yeah. it's dropping his score. Man. But no, this, this is game. This, this should be game. The hill here is very well crucial. That's a lot of gold here in this uh, area, and I mean both are pushing now. Nick, yeah, here it is. GG. GG, man. So you guys were wow. Right. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, one good guess per year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good one. All right. No, it was a it was a good game as always with Double Arabia. You don't know where to look. Um, but uh, quite enjoyable here. Um, changes the score to 3 to 2. One sec. 3 1. Um, 3 1, of course. 3 Sorry. 1. Yeah. I was looking Great at, play, man. I was looking at the two. Nico and Miguel, they're just playing amazing. Three, one. I mean, game number 3, like I pointed out, for, okay. for Miguel, th that was not his usual play. Uh, seriously. Yeah. I mean, he was caught off by surprise. It happens, even for very strong players, as you could see. But now. Shining again in game number four, man. Three one. Three one. I mean, yeah. I mean, Nikov and uh, Miguel. Wow, this team. I, I don't think I've ever seen a better team play really, like this. Really, really good. Is, this is really good, and it's going to take someone very, very special to overthrow them. I mean, we got slamming back to here, trying to, you know, 
win this game. And uh, damn, they can't do it, man. It is awesome. So who can do this? Let's see for the last game now. Mega random. I I think it is. Is it? Yes, that was the vote. The yeah, vote it's mega random. Second. Yeah. All right. Um, then let me take a look at the bets. Where are they? God, so many windows open. All right, Nikov Miguel took this one. Take a look at the payouts. Colts beer. But that sounds really strange for a German native speaker. And yeah, he got almost 500 gold. Factor, was it 2.8? Yeah, something something like that. So, Mr. Galdrug, they have the chance to play, man. I mean, this is not only one single event. Probably you, you were not here in the start of the stream. Yes. Michael announced it, that uh, this is going to be like a weekly you know, uh, event these uh, these show matches, and now basically another team uh, will challenge Nikov Miguel, and uh, you know, will be also different settings. There will be some one v ones, two v twos, three v threes, and uh, at some point uh, mixing with some lucky winners. Uh, you, you guys will find out in in time. So this is only the start. Is not only like a a standalone event yeah it's the first you know um episode so to speak of a series and um we really came up with it on on wednesday you know with all the details let's call it rumble in the jungle and um who to invite and how to you know which maps and settings and so yeah for example yeah, they, this was yeah. uh, this, like, like Jenna said, this was a very uh, short notice right yeah. and we are actually happy that uh, you know uh, in the other team still we have berry and slam but for the next week it will be more time for you know other teams to uh, to sign up basically it's open man for for all yep 